Hey, what's going on, fellow currency lovers? Welcome to another bill search video. A little bit different than my normal out-of-pocket change bill search videos. I went and grabbed me a strap of twos right from the bank. And man, when she handed the strap to me, I was excited immediately to see that not only are we talking crisp or almost mint twos here, straight from the vault at Bank of America, but also look at the number on the top bill of this strap. Already a binary fancy serial number, so I know that this strap is going to have lots of goodies in it as far as collectible bills, uh, bank notes uh, with fancy serial numbers. We already have a block repeater right on the top as well as a binary note, so I'm just psyched about opening up this strap, going through and pulling out the good stuff. I won't bore you guys with looking through $200 worth of $2 bills, but I will go through, I will pull out what uh, is the kind of sought after stuff, and uh, we'll go from there. But we'll start with this top note. This thing's already ripped, so we'll just go ahead and rip her off. Get that out of here. And as you can see, we got ourselves already a nice binary note, Series 2017A strap of $2 bills. You know, a lot of people are like, you can't get $2 bills. Where do you get $2 bills from? I just asked the bank for them. If you go to the teller, you can ask the bank uh, for $2 notes. And this is them, nice and crisp, ready to rock and roll, ready to spend. I still think it's funny when you go to retail stores and bust out a $2 bill, and some people will be like, uh, and they like don't think it's real. Um, when these are massively printed every year, I mean, look how good that bill looks. They haven't updated $2 bills in decades, and it's because they don't need to. Let's talk about the $2 bill for a second. Uh, Trumbull's painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence 1776 is on the back of the note. Uh, there's a lot of controversy about this painting, but I have another video that talks about that. So if you're interested in kind of the history of $2 notes and about the painting that they chose uh, to be on the back of the note, then check that video out. It's probably like a year ago now, so you'll just have to search back through my videos. Uh, but aside from that, it's a really cool depiction. Uh, it takes up the entire note. It's one of the only bank notes, really, that has a design that's... Well, all of them have a design that covers the back of the note, but this one, I think, does it uh, most effectively and most beautifully. Um, it's probably the nicest depiction, as far as I'm concerned. I love $2 notes, and I also love $5 notes. But back to what we're looking for here. This one's printed really, really well. There's no shifts in it. All the seals are sitting nice. The serial number is sitting nice. So we got ourselves a good fancy serial number binary note with just ones and zeros. So let me fast track now that we've talked about twos a little bit and I'll pull out all the good stuff and then I'll go through and talk about it with you. All right, so after going through the strap, as you can see, I pulled out a few bills here. Uh, just out of this one strap, and the great thing is, is I'd be able to take the rest of the $2 bills, although I am going to keep them. I love $2 bills, and I like to give them out for birthdays and stuff of that nature. Uh, but I pulled these four bills out just quickly to cover with you of what they are and why I kept them. So as you can see, there's something that's kind of a common denominator amongst all of them. If we look at the serial numbers, they are all ones and zeros. So these are binary fancy serial numbers. A lot of people search for these. Why, you ask? Because it's just a collectible serial number. Another good thing about these is that block of four ones in the beginning of each one. That's really neat. And the one I like the most uh, is probably the third one down here uh, with the ones on the end and then uh, 1100 in the middle. So we have kind of a bookends of 11 as well as a binary note as well as kind of a repeater of all those ones. So this note specifically has a lot going for it. Now, value, I would say that some of these to the right buyer could be in, worth in upwards of 10 to 15 bucks above face value. Now, for a $2 note, that's a great return on that investment of only $2. Uh, but as far as a collectible aspect of it, just binary notes are so cool. Another thing I noticed with almost every note in this strap is this little deal here. The rolling numbers that print the serial number onto the bills was not greased properly. 
if you notice the one there on the end, how it's sticking up, and then we also have light over inks on almost every one of these annotations of the five here across all of these notes. But mainly, if you look at the serial numbers, get them closer for you, every one of them, that one or last digit in the case that one has a zero on the end, because if we look at this one as well, or the other one, which I won't keep going through all of them, they all are sitting a bit high. This one's not too bad. These two, very noticeable. So when it clicked over to that one, it was incorrectly greased and got stuck a little bit. A lot of people refer to these as odometer notes, since it kind of looks like the last digit of your odometer in a vehicle clicking over to the next digit. Of course, also you can see that over ink there on the five, over ink on the five, as well as there's a couple little splotches of ink on the back of the note on the depiction of the signing of the direct Declaration of Independence. So these are really, really neat. I love binary notes. This is probably one of the best straps of, well, notes in general, as far as just direct serial numbers on them, but also $2 notes. And actually, as I'm talking, I notice there's a bit, you can't really see it in the camera, but I'll try to get a better photo posted at the end of the video or something. But there's uh, actually some streaking of the green ink across these. You can kind of see it there. Uh, let's see how close it, there we go. So you can kind of see that streaking in person. It is much more noticeable. But man, what really cool binary numbers to come across on these $2 notes. They're fresh out of the strap, so they're in great condition other than a little bit of corner damage, but nothing too crazy. I'm going to get them into a plastic bill protector and hold on to them. I really, really like these. They're great. Love me some fancy serial numbers. Love me some $2 bills. I really appreciate you coming to this video and watching me go through the strap and just talk about what to look for. And ju something just as simple as picking up a strap of notes right from the bank and not even looking through your pocket change. As always, though, let me know what you've come across in your bill and coin searches lately in the comments below. I will see you there, and I will see you in the next video.